On this episode, Vintage Napa Valley. It's the region that brought world recognition to California wine. Hello, I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori, and this is Napa Valley. They've been making wine here since the early 1800s. Today, it's home to over 300 wineries, and each and every one is largely dependent on the weather. Weather kind of seals our fate for the year. You know, good wine starts in the vineyard, there's no denying that. And the grapes are, um, you know, they're delicate little plants. Barrett's not the only winemaker in Napa with an offbeat sense of humor. Well, he plays the ukulele. I think that sums it up. I like to have a good time. We're kind of kicky and quirky here around Judd Sill. So yes, I do play ukulele. I do have a band that plays old time Hawaiian music. You know, in our business, kind of quirky, funny, oddball people are who we attract. Have you seen any uh, frogs and lizards? Throw it on the ground. I think wine should be as vegetarian as possible. You know, I think I have a reputation as being a crusty old goat, and you know, he's got one of us being kind of a little bit of swab more dead in there, but he is a really fun guy. He cracks me up. That's a great little operation he's got down there at Judd's Hill. Hi, Mr. Cantori. This is Taylor at the OnStar Center. Where can OnStar take you today? Hi, uh, this is for Napa Valley. Can I have the Judd's Hill Winery, please? Oh, sure. It'll just be one moment. What a great place. You can almost see the whole process of winemaking from start to finish. From when they harvest the grapes to pressing the grapes. You can put your hands in there and help, help them process the wine almost all the way to the bottle. Awesome. Judd, it looks like you got some people right off the street here that just want to taste some wine and you're putting them to work here. What's going on? That's pretty much what happened. This is a group of uh, restaurateurs from uh, Salt Lake City, Park City, they're all from Utah, and they're on a couple day trip here to find out what it's like making wine. We're about to do something called a punch down. Now as the red wine ferments with the skins, uh, one of the byproducts of fermentation besides alcohol and heat is carbon dioxide and all those little tiny bubbles they're gonna float all the skins at the top, so you get this cap of skins, it makes like a, like a waterbed yeah. effect, see that? Oh yeah. But we need to get the skins back into the liquid because that's, that's where we get all the color and the flavors get all drawn out. I see your hands are red, so I have an yeah. idea of how we're gonna do this. This is exactly, I just did this one. We're going right in. We're going right in. And we're gonna, that's it. Oh, oh, this is phenomenal. Feel free to lick your finger. Does it taste sweet or is it dry? It's dry. It's dry, so this is probably almost done fermenting. The, you know, the, the more it ferments, the less sugar you have. And if it was sweet, we still have a long way to go. But since it's dry, maybe another couple days, maybe a day, and then uh, into the press it goes. Oh, what are you making the uh, the ladies do here? They are actually um, filling up our press with Pinot Noir. We're going to press our Pinot today. So we're very low tech, very hands on here at Judd's Hill. So they came here to get the real winemaking experience, and I'm not denying them that. So you know, fruit juice will naturally ferment if left out. That's science, that's nature, however you want to call it. So everything else, to me, is the artistry. That's knowing when to pick. That's knowing even what yeast strain to use. It's selecting the types of barrels you want to use. Then it's the blending, which is really one of my most favorite parts of the whole winemaking experience, is, is putting it together just before you bottle. It's our last chance to do it, and I think that's really where the magic comes together. Seeing how they work together, how they play, how they interact, how they complement one another, and finding that ideal blend. I mean, that's the artistry.